Hey y'all, it's your boy Candy, and um, you're now tuned in to Beauty with Candy. And like I always say, I ain't a hairstylist, I ain't a nail tech, I ain't a makeup artist. Just a bitch out here trying to pull some niggas, and I've had to learn a few things along the way. And if that works for you, then stay tuned. Mm. Uh, bitch, we giving D Crow twins. Period. We sisters. <laughs> mine got a little more lip though. Mine, yo, might be a little full. Mine a little longer. The battle of the foot. Ah, it's the battle. Okay, y'all, so this is a sponsorship hair video. This hair is um, sponsored by Ali Pearl Hair. Um, I was sent this unit, this beautiful unit. It's a 13 by four lace fronto, um, a 26 inch deep wave, 200 density with a medium cap. I listed all the specs down below. Um, I pretty much did all the basics, bleaching the nuts and preparing the hairline off camera because I feel like I've done it a million times on here or whatever. And I just really wanted to focus on the install. But yeah, um, Ali Pearl, I've worked with them before and I love the hair. Um, this, this, you know, for this to be deep curl, it really didn't shed that much, which is a great thing. Um, I love the the density. It's so full. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's a great unit. So that's why I didn't feel like the, um, you know, showing me doing the basics was needed because it's like, girl, let's get straight to the install. Um, I am going in with a, you know, a pretty simple method. Um, girl, we're doing just about three layers of glue. Um, you know, we got to build, let it dry. Um, you know, before putting it all the way down. I know that when I did put the lace down, no tea, no key, no shade, y'all might clock it. But there was like a little part or two that wasn't like all the way dry, which is okay because, you know, I know what to do when I'm doing it. But just make sure you you, you let the glue dry as clear as possible. Um, I did want to go in and do the right side first. It's I usually kind of do the, um, I, I do my frontal installs in sections. I usually do the front part then I go to the sides, but this time I wanted to do the right side first, and I actually kind of like that um, method. I feel like it helped me really make sure the ear tap was like really melted. So, yeah, but um, pretty much self-explanatory tease. Um, as y'all can see, I already kind of like cut out the baby hairs, you know what I mean? I, um, I love that this wig came pre-plucked, but I plucked it a little more. And, um, yeah, we went in with, the, um, to match her skin, the lace for her skin, all I did was go in with a little bit of Fenty foundation. Um, yeah, pretty simple. So, I'm gonna let y'all get into it. Um, I'm gonna tap back in with y'all, okay? Um. And as y'all see, while I'm letting the other side dry, I'm just really getting the other, um, while I'm letting the glue dry, I'm just, you know, getting everything else together. I'm definitely going in with my comb and my hands, like pressing in that lace that is laid down so that it really is secure. Like, as y'all can see, I'm kind of going in with my fingers and I'm really applying pressure. Applying pressure once you lay the lace down really kind of help secure it, if that kind of makes sense. So, um... Yeah, I'm kind of taking my time. I don't really like to rush when I do my installs. Because I feel like whenever you rush, it shows in the long run. So, I was just, you know. You know, as y'all can see, I keep pressing that. Yeah, girl, I'm pressing that lace in, girl. <laughs> Thank you. 
Like I told y'all that comb is going to be your best friend. Yes, comb her in. Do your big one. You already know the vibes. Yeah. Okay, so now that we got the other side down, um, I am going to go in with my, this new, um, it's called Eben Wonder Lace Bond. It's, I ain't gonna front, it's, it's, it's fucking them up. It's, it's some glue. I came across one of my homegirls, put me on to, my stripper homegirls put me on to, and she was like, bitch, it's strong, and it's quick, and it's easy, and it is, and I just kind of went in with a layer of it after it was already laid down to kind of give it some extra security. To me, it kind of acts like a got to be, but low key a little stronger. So, yeah, so while that was just kind of melting and doing what it was supposed to do, I was like, let me get this part together. As you see, I'm going in with my mousse and I'm just really kind of molding the hair to my desired liking um, while I'm letting this, you know, that hairline kind of kind of melt and dry up. You know what I mean? I'm really giving the, um, that hairline and that glue time to kind of really fully, fully, fully dry. Just while I, I you know, I, I touch up the edges, you know, going with my high comb, um, you know, just a little knickknacks. Um, you know, a little bit of this and a little bit of that. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> Okay, sometime I be tying my damn band so tight, I just got to pull that shit back. Um, but as y'all can see, that's what we get after the first tie result, and she's pretty much laid. I am going to go back in and retie it after I um, cut the lace. I'm going to go retie it. Um, that's just to, you know, secure any pieces that might be free after this cutting part. I'm sorry I kept cut, uh, covering the the camera it's just sometimes it'd be so hard to film and like you know do what you gotta do but you know comment below let me know if it was irritating y'all or if it wasn't that bad because my big ass elbow just keep getting away but yeah so okay so we cutting the lace fully off or whatever you know be real careful try to get as close as you can um and, and no shame y'all can't even really see where i'm cutting the lace because that shit is melted so good so that's how you know we off to a good start <laughs> Now, as y'all see, when I do hair, I be just running my mouth, girl. Do not have no key keys for me, bitch, while I do your hair, because I am going to pull them all out of you. <laughs> yeah, and I got a couple key keys myself. <laughs>
I don't know if you really clocking it, y'all, but I am pressing the shit out of it. You know, really, that is really what's going to help that security. So when she gone, she not in my face and she doing too damn much to make sure her lace still lay. But if y'all don't get into that scampy, I know, like, come on, I did my big one. I didn't even tie it back down again yet because I do like tying the baby hairs down after I swoop them. Um, just for another additional layer of security. Um... Yeah, I actually um, tied it down before swooping, so that way after cutting, you know, because you don't want to start swooping and you just cut the lace, because when you start swooping and moosing, like, and you just cut it, it is like low-key lift. So after I cut it, I kind of went in with another little layer of the um, of the lace bond glue, is what it's some kind to be. Tied it down. Now that's what you get. Now that lace ain't going nowhere, girl. Now we can go in with the moose. Swoopity doopity doopity doops. You know what I'm saying? Do all the eye eyes or whatever. As you guys can see, I am going in with the beauty blender in certain parts. Just to assure that lace, you know what I mean? That lace is not visible nowhere. Any Anywhere I see a little lace-ism, I just go in with that little... I mean, it's really giving. It's really giving Puerto Rican Dominican mommy. It's really giving that. It's really giving like I ain't poppy. Yeah, it's really giving that. So yeah, I'm very, 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 very proud of my work. So um, yeah. Yes, whoopity doopity doopity doop. And no shade, y'all. Get into the growth of my edges and my baby hairs. Cause I used to, I'm still growing, no shade. Um, there's like like so many different styles of baby hairs. Comment below what's your favorite type of baby hair. And also comment below what how you think I did on these baby hairs. But I'm still trying to step my baby hair tees up. So um, you know, you guys gonna see me get better. Y'all gonna see me do my shit and get better. <laughs> yeah. And I don't know if it's just me. I could be gassing it up. But, bitch, I ate that sideburn baby hairs. No shade. That's probably one of my little favorite sideburns I've done on a client. No shade. I can really see my growth. Um, <laughs> I definitely can. Um, but pretty much in a nutshell, no shade. All I do is go in on the other side and just give the same illusions. I, bumped, um, I do curl my baby hairs before I curl them. Um, I learned that online. I heard that's what Eric and Tay do. I don't know, but it helps me swoop better. Um, yeah, I, I love it. As y'all can see, it's just, I feel like when you curl it, the swoop just falls right into place. You see, and no shade, y'all. I am heavy-handed when I do hair, girl. I will grab your head and just turn that bitch in a second, girl. <laughs> no tea, no key, no shade. But, um, yeah, um, it, I had to, it took me a minute to get the baby hairs to match. Um, you know, I, I went in, but after I got it perfected, it's just pretty much voila. Um, comment below. Let me know um, what you guys like about this video. Didn't like give me a bitch with some reviews or something or whatever, some pointers. But, um, that's pretty much the finished result. I hope you guys liked, um, you know, hope y'all learned a few tips or something, bitch. I hope you found some enjoyment. Comment, like, subscribe. Again, shout out to my sponsor, Ali Pearl Hair. Um, I'm going to list all the specs and details on this unit down below. I really hope y'all enjoy. Lance and Bandos. Mm-hmm. <laughs>